So if you are an awakened individual, do you ever wish that you could just, like, go back to sleep? I don't want to be, like, it was just easier before I was awake. There's so much stuff that I feel like I can't say, especially, like, when I'm forced to be on the fucking internet because I'm trying to sell, like, a self-published book. I'm forced to have a platform. And, like, there's so much stuff that I would want to use my platform to say, but I feel like I cannot because I'll be blacklisted. Luckily, I'm not traditionally publishing. Then I couldn't say shit because not only do you have to, like, you can't have a different different opinion than the mainstream, but you have to pair it. You got to pair it exactly what they want you to say or, or silence is violence. You know, that's what they say. So, yeah, sometimes I wish I could go back to sleep. Like, I don't want to be like how I was before I was awake, you know, into partying and drugs and alcohol and promiscuity. Like, I'm glad I see the negative impact that that has on one's soul. And, like, if you're into all that stuff, like, dude, that's your life. I'm not telling you how to live your life. This is how I live mine. I can view my life and what's good and bad for my soul, like, through my own eyes. I'm not telling you how to live. So, like, if I say promiscuity is bad for the soul, that's my opinion. You don't need to come for me for that. That's another, like, ugh, just how easily offended our society is. And you know what? The handlers, the ones in control, have made it that way on purpose. Because anytime you speak, like, a fragment of the truth, they try to vilify you, demonize you, and they turn it, they twist it around into something that doesn't actually mean. So that it's hate speech. Because that's how they silence us. So when I'm talking about, like, an awakening, I mean two things. I mean a spiritual awakening. And a, an awakening into the darkness that surrounds the world. And who's in control. And that they don't have good intentions. So it's an awakening to the light and awakening to the dark. That's very important. So when I first woke up, I was all into New Ageism. I am now a Christian, but I still hold some, I guess, New Age feelings. Like, certain beliefs that are somewhat New Age of mine. The thing about New Ageism is if you do it all willy-nilly, like with psychedelics and crystals and astral projection, like you can get some demonic attachments and that is what led me to the path of Christ is realizing that and getting demonic attachments and I know that may sound crazy to some people but I would say the majority of the world has demons attached to them negatively influencing their thoughts thus their actions and they don't even know it. So when I say sometimes I wish I wasn't awake, I don't mean awake in a spiritual sense. Like, finding God is the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, I remember when I was in my early 20s having a quarter-life crisis, walking out of my job, lighting a dollar bill on fire as, like, a ritual to say, I don't need, I don't want to be part of this, this society, this programming. And then after that, I manifested, I made a vision board, I manifested my husband, I put a love spell on him. And lucky for me, that didn't end badly. I wouldn't recommend, like, you meeting some random guy on the internet and letting him get you pregnant right away. But for me, it worked out. So that's cool. I'm not sad that I woke up to spirituality, even though I did get demonic attachments, which led me to Jesus Christ. Everything happened exactly the way it was meant to with my spiritual awakening. But my awakening into the corruption in the world, sometimes I wish I could be asleep because I just see things so differently than other people. And I'm not saying, like, I'm the only awakened one in a world of sheep. Like, wake up, sheeple. And I'm not, I don't, I no longer wish to devote my life to that narrative of trying to wake people up. Because it's really not my business to wake people up. Like, their awakening journey is their own. And if they are destined to awaken in this lifetime, then they will. It's not my place to forcibly attempt to wake people up and another thing about the awakening to like the corruption in the world is sometimes I even wonder it can it can go both ways like is it some sort of paranoia paranoia like issue in my brain like a, a mental disorder it, it easily could be but also like that's what they want me to think that's what they want everybody to think they say like conspiracy theories are dangerous because it could radicalize people against their government but our government is the one who are dangerous in my opinion and there's just so many topics that like people argue with back and forth on the internet and I don't take either side because I'm not a Republican I'm not a Democrat I don't vote in the two-party system because it's two wings of the same bird I'm a free bird but yeah, I wish, I wish I wasn't sometimes woken up to all the corruption because not only does it weigh heavily on my soul, I feel like 
Like, I want to talk about it, but I can't. <sighs> because my words will be twisted around into something that they're not. And this is all by design. It's also very lonely being awake because you don't come across many people in your real life who are on the same kind of vibe as you. Like, you're an alien. Literally, it feels like an alien. And then that comes into the whole starseed thing. Which, you know, star seeds are supposedly angelic beings from higher dimensions who chose to incarnate on Earth as humans to raise the consciousness of the planet and prevent Earth from fa falling, descending into hell, to ascend the planet into heavenly realms instead of letting it fall into hell. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Maybe I do have a mental disorder. But I rather, I can at least acknowledge that it may be a mental disorder, but I rather believe that it's not because I don't think it hurts anybody to believe in what I believe in because like I said I no longer try to forcibly wake people up I'm not trying to radicalize like a population to overthrow the government or anything crazy like that like that's not my place it's just my place to do the the best I can with the life that I was given on earth and use my special interests my calling we all have a calling we all have whatever you feel passionate about like that's your calling that's what you should be doing for the world if you're passionate about animals then you are meant to be an advocate for animals work with animals if you're passionate about the elderly then work in a nursing home and be the light for the people there like the only thing that we can do to better this world instead of trying to forcibly wake people up I think is find your niche and just put all your energy into doing that my niche for me is writing fiction and even though my fiction is really dark and weird underneath all that it is Number one, a self-help book. And number two, it is like secretly trying to wake people up to secret societies that run the world. Except in my book, it's on a small town scale. But there's also a big focus on overcoming childhood trauma, depression, anxiety, addiction. So in a weird way, it is like a self-help book because the characters struggle with that so much. And it's not meant to glorify these things. But it's things that I went through. And a lot of other people who have had traumatic experiences, especially in early childhood, you really have to everything, all of your weird personality quirks, it comes from the most, the time that you felt the least loved in your childhood. And you really need to go into all that and heal. And I'm forever grateful that I have awakened to that aspect. But God, sometimes I wish I could be a normie like everybody else. Can you imagine how simple life would be? Does anybody else feel this way? I, I just, I, I don't know anymore.